Hey guys, welcome to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put video inside your text to create some unique looking titles. But I'm also going to show you a few things that you can do to make these kinds of titles more interesting than just a static title. So I'm going to use this drone shot of these trees here as the video that I'm going to put into my text. The first thing we want to do is to create a basic title and I can do that with the shortcut Control T. And I can time that to fit by using the shortcut Alt square bracket. Now I need to add my text so I'll come in here and let's type green living. I'll put that on two lines. Let's change the font here to something big and bold. And I'm going to scale this up pretty big. I'll drag that until it snaps to the middle. And this is where the magic happens. You head on over to your video inspector properties and you change your blend mode to stencil alpha. If I play that back, I have my video inside my text. It's a really simple title, but the possibilities are endless. Let's create another title using this ink texture and we'll overlay it over some footage. To save some time, I prepared all the titles for the rest of this tutorial ahead of time. So I'll head over to my inspector and I'll change the blend mode here to stencil alpha. I want to overlay this ink title over this shot of someone getting a tattoo. I can lift this clip from the primary storyline by using the shortcut command alt and the up arrow and I can move that shot and the title on top of this shot. You'll notice that you don't see this shot underneath so what you need to do is group this title and this video clip by using the shortcut alt G. I'll call that ink and now we have that title on top of that shot. You can always double click on the group and go in and edit the title if you need to. And this is the final shot. I love using textures to create these kinds of titles. I find that textures often work better than most clips. Another example of using a texture is to use this 16 millimeter film damage clip to create an old film style title that flickers and has scratches and dirt on it. Using these three titles we've just created where the video is inside the text, I'm going to show you a few ideas on how you can make them more interesting and less static. At the end of the video, I'll also show you a few other cool title ideas using this technique. With this example, we're going to transition from a full screenshot of the trees into just the video inside the text. So in order to do that, I need to copy this clip over here so I can hold down Alt and drag that up on top to create a copy. Next, I want to cut the clip shorter. So somewhere around here, I'll hit Alt and the square bracket. I can select this edge Hit Command T to create a cross dissolve. I can select the cross dissolve and hit Control D to change the duration and I'll make it two seconds and zero zero frames. I can also come in here and adjust the ease amount of the transition. And this is the final result. Coming back to this example, we can use keyframes to scale this text. So I'll hit the down arrow to go to the end of my clip and I'll hit the left arrow to go one frame back. On this clip here, I can add a keyframe to the scale and I can hit the up arrow to go back to the beginning of the clip and I'll set that scale there to about 50. If I play that back, this is what it looks like. So this increases the size of this whole group, which means it increases the size of the text as well as the footage in the text. If I wanted to keep the scale of the footage the same, but just scale up the text, I can do that quite easily. I'll just remove attributes here by hitting Command Shift X and I'll remove my transform attributes here to get rid of the scale adjustment. I'll double click on the group and then instead of applying the scale keyframes to the footage and the text, I can just apply it to the text layer. So I'll select this layer, set a keyframe here at the end, go to the beginning of the clip and I can set the scale here to 50. If I play this back, you'll see how the text scales up, but the video inside the text stays the same. Let's take the cinema title we created earlier and create a flicker on effect. I've already grouped the 16 millimeter film damage clip and this text and dropped it on top of this shot of a cinema. I'll move my playhead to the beginning of the clip using the up arrow and then I'll move forward one second in time by hitting plus one second zero zero and enter. I can then use the shortcut alt left square bracket to trim the title to there. That way I have one second of the shot playing before the title flickers on. I'll then move forward 10 frames in time by hitting plus 10 enter and with the clip selected I can use the shortcut command B to make a cut in the clip. I'll move back using the left arrow and I'll keep cutting these 10 frames here into sections of two frames and one frame and I'll just alternate those. 
The reason I alternate between one and two frames is just so that you get a more organic feel as the title flickers on. I'll hide every second clip and I need to make one more cut here and I'll hide that clip. If I play that back, you have a nice flicker on effect. Let's quickly take a rapid fire look at a few more examples. In this example, I'll show you how to darken and desaturate the footage to reveal the title. I've already grouped this title with the footage and I've applied a subtle scale to the title inside this compound clip so that it slowly grows over time but the footage stays exactly where it is. I have the exact same shot that's in this compound clip over here and I can drop this on top of the other one. And now what I'll do is I'll make a cut somewhere in the clip over here and on the second part of the clip I'll select that and I'll add a color wheel adjustment where I desaturate the clip totally and I'll darken it as well. I'll play around with the highlights here, the midtones, and the shadows to kind of get the look that I'm going for. Then I'll click on this cut over here and I'll hit Command T to create a cross dissolve. I'll select that and I'll set the ease amount to 100. If I play that back, this is what it looks like. In this example, I'll show you how you can transition between two different clips that have the same text. In this case, I have the burning embers layer and I have my blazing fire layer that I want to overlay over this shot of a forest on fire. I'll drag this burning embers layer on top and I'll sink it to the end and I'll do the same with the blazing fire layer. Somewhere over here, I'll make a cut between both these layers at the same point and I'll delete this part of the fire layer and this part of the burning embers layer. I'll click on the cut between the two and hit Command T to create a cross dissolve. And then I want to add a wipe transition which you can find in your transition panel and I'll drag and drop that onto the beginning of this clip. I'll select this transition and I want the direction to go up. The embers seem to rise up from the bottom of the frame and then it transitions into a full-on blaze. For all of these examples so far, we've used the basic title to add our text, but you can also use the custom title type or the subtle title type in Final Cut Pro to create some really unique animations. Let's use the subtle title. In your browser window under the build in build out titles, you'll find the subtle title. I'll drag and drop that onto my clip of the moon here and you'll see how this animates on. I can go in here and select the title, head to my title properties, and here I can change the build-in type or the build-out type. I'm gonna deselect the build-out option, and for build-in, I'm going to choose relax. For the title itself, I'm going to type into the woods, and let's find a creepy font. Something like that'll do. I'll scale that up, and I'll center that over there. I'll head to my blend mode and I'll set that to stencil alpha. Next, I'll select the text and the slip of the moon. I'll hit Alt G to group it. And I will drop this layer on top of my forest layer. And here's the final result. If you're familiar with the channel, you'll know that there are a lot of Final Cut Pro tutorials here, as well as some really cool giveaways from time to time. But if you're new to the channel and you didn't know that, and please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when new videos come out. Not so long ago, I did a giveaway for a massive bundle which included a bunch of really awesome stomp titles. I'll leave a link to that video down below if you want to check that out, as well as a link to the bundle itself. But if you have these titles or any other titles for that matter, you can also use them to create some really unique title effects. I created these four titles using the stomp title presets in the bundle, and if I overlay those over the shot of fireworks, you can see how easy it is to create some really cool titles with the video inside the text in Final Cut Pro. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really helps the channel out a lot. And comment down below on how you think you'll use this video inside your text title technique. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.